Hi everybody. Um, I had done this restaurant review yesterday, but I'm redoing it just because, you know, just have something else to say. Um, like I was gonna, like I had said in that video. Um, what it is is, yeah, I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Um, yeah, and in case you notice, I am shooting a video in my living room. Um, like Tony told Richard or Mad Bad Voodoo recently. Um. Our computer that we had done all our videos on up till recently, like that last video I shot, that computer bought the farm uh, last month. Um, this computer that I'm doing this movie review, or this movie review, I've got movie review on the brain. Um, I've been doing some movie reviews lately. Um, you know, um, you know, this video I'll test to. I have a computer that I'm using just to get some of these videos shot. Um, this video I've been trying to get done for like, oh, a month. Uh, you know, and it's just taken me this long to get this computer to where I can actually shoot a video. Um, yeah, well, what this is, is this is, you know, a restaurant review that I meant to do last month in January and never got around to it because, you know, I've been arguing with this computer trying to get it to where I can do a video. Well, that aside, this is my first official restaurant review for 2011. Um, Tony and I, last month, um, we decided just for something, well, in a word, different to do, we decided to go to Guru India, which is a local Indian restaurant off of I-75, which is reasonably priced. So, Richard, if you want to meet us there sometime, let us know. I mean, it's really good stuff. Um, you know, I mean, the restaurant is great. I mean, it's the, the hilarious part is, okay, it's in a busy shopping mall, and it's literally next door to an Outback Steakhouse. This is the funny thing. The Outback Steakhouse is busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. But Guru India, we've gone in there on a Friday night, and it's been dead as a doornail. I mean, there's maybe been, like, I'd say ten booths occupied in the whole store or restaurant. And, you know, I mean, and it's, like, real spread out, you know, and they're, like, mm. you know, and, and it's, like, Longhorns next door is off the hook packed, and we're, like, well, you know, and that makes it all the much better for us, because my husband gets real dysfunctional in crowds, <laughs> and he becomes very childish, and starts screaming and crying and carrying on, and I'm, like, okay, I don't need this, you know, sorry, honey, I'm going to tell on you, but, you know, seriously, though, uh, Tony and I love eating in this restaurant because I, I, one thing is, is like they will pump you so full of water. I mean, like, I mean, they'll come by and they'll keep your, you know, uh, water glass filled up. And, you know, they also, you know, they'll, they, they mainly, you know, bring out like tea and, uh, other than water, tea and soda and everything. I mean, they do have alcohol there, yes, if you want it. But, um, you know, th there's some stuff. There's a, Taj Mahal beer or something. I said, and I said, you got to be joking, right? And then there's uh, another one that's. Uh, well, they also have Singha there. I was surprised. Which is Singha is a Thai beer. Um, there was another one that was an Indian beer, and I forget what it's called. Uh, like Burma or something. Um, it was good. I took like a sip of it. I was like, wow. <laughs> um, let's see what else is there. Um, you know, they have this really awesome bread called naan. It tastes like my mom's potato can cakes. i tell you what, it's exactly what it tastes like. It's extremely good. Um, I eat this stuff that I can't pronounce its name, but I'll spell it for you. It's S-A-A-G. It's like this spinach-based entree. And I usually have um, shrimp put in it. I mean, it comes out in a tray like about this long, a silver tray. And they bring out a big tray of, or a big thing of rice, sticky rice, white rice, extremely good, extremely, extremely good, um, I mean, I love it, I mean, Tony, oh, holy God, help all of us, Tony absolutely just loves, loves this restaurant, we've eaten there three times in the last month, what the, what does that tell you, the third time we ate there with my parents, and my parents like it, which is saying something, um, I jokingly said to Tony that I know of at least one person who I'm 
pretty sure will not eat there. And I won't say who that person is here. But, you know, if they watch this video, if you think it's you, you let me know. I'll, I may or may not tell you. But, uh, anyway, extremely good restaurant. I do highly recommend eating at Guru India. There is one thing, though, um, wrong with the restaurant. There's only one problem with it, and it's this. The parking is atrocious. Uh, well, that's because of the Outback Steakhouse next door. Um, that's the only problem. Is you know, it's like the parking is atrocious because of them. I mean, it's just like you roll your eyes and go, you know, seriously, you know, it's like my opinion is, is, you know, it's like if you notice the restaurant next door is slow, you know, seriously, go next door because at least you can get in and out, get in eat and get out and get on with your life instead of waiting around for like an hour and a half, two hours just to get seated and eat. You know, that's my opinion. I'm like, get me in, get me out, you know. I mean, because I don't like having to wait, you know, a really long time just to get to eat a steak that, you know, you know, may, I may have to sit there and wait, you know, an hour or four or something. I mean, it isn't worth it, you know. But I know I can go in a restaurant, get in, get seated eat and get on with my life, then that's one thing I, I do like about it. And that is one thing nice about Guru India. So I do highly recommend it, but just watch out for the parking <laughs> there if you go there, okay? But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.